Faith begins where the will of God is known. You gotta know it. It's gotta be in your bones that this is what God wants for you. We're blessed, we're prospering, we're healed, we're healthy, our youth is renewed. You say all those things, right? You say them regularly. Say, I say them regularly. That's how you walk with the Holy Ghost. You know that, right? He's very limited in what he can do for you unless you open your mouth and speak in agreement with him. Let's pray. Holy Ghost, thank you that you are God in the earth today. I worship you. I ask you to touch people here. I ask you to touch people online and quicken them according to your word, according to your will, according to your way. We worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Third John, and we'll look at verse 2. Beloved, who's the beloved? you're the beloved beloved i wish or pray some people in the margins says pray right i wish or pray above all things is this in your bible yes. are you gonna believe it yes say i believe it I believe right it's in your bible i wish or god's wishes that and above all things because god's word is him speaking to you i hope we know that right that's a whole nother message but you can just take that at face value I wish or pray above all thing now who wrote the Bible holy the Holy Ghost inspired people right so it's his will mm -hmm. they spake and wrote not of their own will but of the Holy Ghost's will well here we have a scripture that says beloved so that's the Holy Ghost talking to you I wish or pray also the Holy Ghost talking to you are you here yes. I wish or pray above all things that thou mayest prosper yes. say prosper. prosper and be in health and be right in health. two good things mm -hmm. it's too good it is it's two good things yes. say that's too good that's too good. too good both are good prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers so that gives us a little idea of how he's going to do it by prospering us on the inside he can prosper us on the outside I hope you understand that so my question here and I'm gonna to try to keep this portion short because I got a lot of other stuff to talk about the will of God is it God's will for you to prosper yes. now that's something you got to get straight in your head how many people do you know people that don't have that straight in their head it might be God's will for them to fail and go down and go under no it's God's will for you to prosper according to this Bible anyway the will of God is it God's will for you to prosper yes you got to get that straight in your understanding straight in your head because faith begins where the will of God is known if you think for some reason that it's not God's will for you to prosper guess what you're not gonna prosper remember Abraham was fully persuaded wasn't he say fully persuaded fully that what God said he was able to perform well you got to be fully persuaded that it's God's will for you to prosper is that gonna anger people yeah is that gonna irritate a lot of Christians yes. if you were to just go up and tell them and say hey I'm fully fully persuaded that it's God's will for me to prosper mm -hmm. they'll probably back up a little bit and go over and get a cookie mm -hmm. next to the punch bowl <laughs> yeah. anyway faith begins where the will of God is known you got to know it it's got to be in your bones that this is what God wants for you right not only that but to be healed be in health that's part of the soul prospering is knowing that it's God's will say this it is God's will, it is God's will. For, me, for me for me to prosper, to prosper. and be in health, and be in health. Yeah. you don't mind if I yell and get excited do you I don't think so I get excited about the word job 36 what's a good verse here 11 let's go with that job 36 and verse 11 if they obey and serve him they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures are you here yes. now 
let me ask you a question is it God's will that you obey and serve him yes. most people go why of course it's God's will that you obey and serve him but if you ask them is it God's will for you to prosper or to spend your days in prosperity and your years in blessed they say no no we don't know the will of the Lord for you according to the, is this in your Bible yes. if they obey and serve him and it is God's will to obey and serve him you understand that right yes. then it must be God's will for the second half of this verse mm -hmm. if they obey and serve him they they who they who obey and serve him shall mm -hmm. spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures is it God's will for you to spend your days in prosperity and your years in pleasures yes, yes just as much as it is his will for you to obey and serve him yes. are you getting this mm -hmm. is this good news yes. so it is the will of God that we prosper we saw that in third John 2 now we see it here in Job 36 11 is his word his will for you yes. mm -hmm. did this say that if you obey and serve him you would spend your days in prosperity years and pleasures yes. that's a promise of God they shall now obedience and service to God the Holy Ghost will lead to prosperity you understand that did you see that here if they do that if they do the obedience and the serving they shall enter into prosperity mm -hmm. right and then the money comes to you say the money comes to me, the money comes, to me. comes to you by the power of God so Deuteronomy 8 18 but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God for it is he that gives thee power to get wealth what does God give you to get wealth power, power. who does God. well what well, is it his will that you prosper yes. it would be silly if it wasn't because he's gonna give you power to get the wealth to get the prosperity are you here mm -hmm. he's empowering you with his power to get the wealth so God gives me power to get wealth and you can say it say it backwards take I get wealth by the power of God now he gives you power because you're obeying and serving him and then he his method to get you the prosperity and the years of pleasure is through power say it's through, power. it's through power it's through God's power I'm gonna ask you another question is it God's will that you have power Yes. according to this verse of Scripture he gives it to you some people don't pick it up some people don't know it but it's coming to you say it's coming to me it's coming is it God's will that you have power yes well the same power that heals is the same power that delivers is the same power that prospers it's the power of God how many of you remember Acts 1 8 says you shall receive something after the Holy Ghost comes on you what are you gonna receive power you shall receive po is it God's will for you to have power if it's his will for you to receive the Holy Ghost and speak with other tongues it's the same thing it's the same will that you have power are you here mm -hmm. God is not dependent on money did you know that mm -hmm. he's dependent on his power wouldn't that be silly for him to be dependent on money mm -hmm. well people could spend it and you know what what else oh what am I gonna do what am I you know no he's dependent on his power that's why he gives power that gets the wealth because yes. his power is infallible his power can do anything when there when there isn't any resources God is not dependent on money he's dependent on power there's no lack of the power of God there's no lack of God's power mm -hmm. isn't this good yes. because it's his power that gets the what which means there's no lack of wealth when we're hooked up to the power that gets the wealth you can have as much power as anyone as long as you obey and serve are you getting this say I can, have I can have as much power as, much power as, anyone, as anyone as long as I obey, as as I obey and, serve. and serve 
is that good news yes yes because that's how god gets his how god gets wealth over to you he gives you the power mm -hmm. god gives you power to get wealth makes me happy because i know i'm not dependent on resources i'm not really dependent on people i'm not dependent on money i'm not dependent on a bank account i'm dependent on god and i'm dependent on the power of god and guess what that that's just how god is mm -hmm. he's not dependent on people because people sometimes just don't they don't show up right when they're supposed to mm -hmm. the power of god will make listen to me the power of god will make a way regardless of what the circumstances or the situation says mm -hmm. the power of god comes in and fixes it you see that yes so you should be happy that you're not dependent on the money mm -hmm. right trust not in uncertain riches but in the living God who gives you richly all things to enjoy yes. by his power Ephesians 3 20 now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think does that sound like does that sound like prosperity God being able to do something exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask or think that's prosperity according to what the power that works in us how's God do it according to the power you got a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I thank you I thank that it's your power it's your that gets me wealth I call for your power. I, for your I power. ask for your power. I ask you to anoint me, anoint this offering, and cause wealth to come to me in all my affairs by your power in Jesus' name. Amen.